Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today. In this video I want to talk to you about Shadow Priest in Cataclysm. Now, I played a decent amount of Shadow Priest in Wrath and eventually rolled away from it as I had a few issues with the spec. The Mind Flay clipping being one, things like dots being so rigid in the rotation, it just wasn't a very fun spec for me. However, in Kata I think they take that Wrath Shadow Priest and turn it into an absolute monster. So there's a few things they change in Cataclysm. Firstly is Shadow Orbs, a largely out of your control buff that occasionally turns you into a beast that hits very hard. Shadow Word Pain and Mind Flay have a chance to generate orbs and Mind Blast or Mind Spike consumes the orbs to do extra damage, which scales with your mastery, and increases the damage of your dots for 15 seconds, again scaling with mastery. This is fantastic for Shadow Priests, giving them a burst profile and seeing those cool big numbers, while still being able to pump out dot damage. This also scales with multiple targets as Shadow Word Pain can generate orbs. Secondly, one of the biggest changes I'm happy to see in Kata is the very slight change to dot clipping. Now if you reapply dots just before their last tick, it will be reapplied to the new dot, making the margin for error a little bit bigger. And the whole rotation feels just a little bit less rigid. Vampiric Touch and Devouring Plague still snapshot with things like your Shadow Orbs buff and Evangelism, another buff I'll talk about in a second. Overall, knowing when to reapply and when to let the dots run its full course will make the difference in your average Shadow Priest to a god tier one. Now, Shadow Priest actually gains a cooldown button in Cataclysm through the Disciplined Talent Tree. Dark Angel, or Wings as they're normally called, Mindflay stacks up a buff called Dark Evangelism, increasing periodic damage by 2% per stack up to 5 stacks. Your Archangel can then be used on a 1 minute 30 cooldown to consume the buffs and increase the damage of Mind Blast, Mind Flay, Shadow Word Death and Mind Spike by 4% per stack, as well as granting a large amount of mana back. You still do have Shadow Fiend, but it still feels as awful as ever. It snapshots with spell power buffs, and should be used before Lust, but it's still never going to massively influence your rotation. I've mentioned Mind Spike a few times. It's another new addition to Kata, a short spammable cast that can be scaled to hit extremely hard with the likes of Shadow Orbs and Archangel. It also gives Shadow Priest a way to deal short damage to short-lived uh, single target mobs without trying to ramp up dot damage on them. Finally, one of the last changes on this list is Masochism, a talent in the tree that grants mana whenever you damage yourself with Shadow Word Death, meaning you can avoid having to use Dispersion by incorporating Shadow Word Death into your rotation when low on mana. Below 25%, this also hits extremely hard. You also then have Mind Seer, which is able to be placed on a tanking cataclysm and able to hit all mobs around them. It hits extremely hard, and we got to a point where there was a running meme about press less buttons. In AoE, just press Mind Flay. Like, ignore everything else. Don't worry about your dots. If mobs were dying in, like, like heroic pulls, if mobs were dying that quickly, just Mind Seer and do tons and tons of damage. Overall, I think they made Shadow Priest into a fantastic spec in Kata. And if you like it in Wrath, I think you'll love it in Kata. 